Hi, everyone. This is Chrissy and Tanner back again with another tool highlight. And today, Tanner's going to take it away and tell us about a tool. Which tool is it, Tanner? Indeed, I'm going to talk about a tool, and it's a type of tool I really like, which is one that is simple and flexible. I think I really tend to value tools that you can use for a whole range of purposes. And this tool to me really embodies that. And the thing I love most about it is they allow you to do a lot with it, but it's not overcomplicated in the design. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing. And this is a tool that's been around for a long time called Sutori that was originally called history, but take out all the vowels, except for Y. <laughs> but that's what it used to be called. It was developed in 2013, long time ago, back when our site, Common Sense Education, first launched. And it, the genesis of it is pretty interesting. It was uh, a Twitter thread one of the founders made, caught fire, made one of those like tweet storms about the great smog of London and thought, what if we could make kind of formalized tweet storms into an educational tool? So they built this tool, first called History and now called Sutori. And here's kind of what a finished version of this tool looks like. So it was originally kind of, the thought was let's make a timeline, like a Twitter timeline. So you do this scroll, every Sutori project has this scroll that you scroll through and you can add these little boxes to this timeline. And this can include text, pictures, videos. You can break it up with headings. You can have these kind of colored boxes that are little, you know, really spotlights on information. And it's a very elegant layout. And over time, they've added in assessments like quizzes. And this one is a matching quiz that you can click on and get right and wrong answers. This gets saved and sent back to teachers. Teachers get data on the engagement inside of um, one of the timelines or projects, as well as the assessment data. And there's even, let me see if I can show you a version of this here. I believe it's on this. One thing to note is it works really well at Google Classroom as well as Microsoft Teams, full integration. It has real-time collaboration. So, you know, these projects can be like, here's an example of a teacher taking a lesson and, and making it into one of these on commas. And you can imagine a teacher sending this out, curating content from Khan, um, the electric company, embedding quizzes in there, something from No Red Ink. But it can also be something that students use. And the great thing is it's sort of Google docified in that students can collaborate on one together. They can see who's editing what part. Teachers can comment on the work students provide. So it's a really, you know, this is one of those platforms. It's going to cost you. There is a free version, but it's pretty limited. In my experience, you very quickly run into things that you really want to do that you can't because it's paid. Yeah, I see videos and quizzes. Yeah. <laughs> at the time. I mean, those you're gonna want to do those. You run into it, you're like, no. <laughs> um, and then it's a ninety nine dollars per year. The thing is, that could seem like a hefty sum to some, but I think this is one of those tools that you may find is worth the price because it could become a cornerstone. Um, you know, there's so many possibilities and it's so simple and elegant that I, I really think it may be worth that price. We gave it a four-star rating, a common sense selection. Uh, we really like it. The only real complaint we had about it was just some kind of nitpicking, particularly around um, design tweaks. I found it personally frustrating that, um, you can't change like the background color, the headings. It just seems like there's some basic style tweaking that I think would add some personality that, that students and teachers would like. But still really, really thought this was a, a standout tool. And we've been watching its development all along. And 
you know, it's been, it, they've been thoughtfully developing it, I think. It also seems like it would be super useful for uh, co-curricular projects. You know, if you're trying to, English teacher teams up with a history teacher and um, you could create some really cool things uh, with that tool. And like you say, I think the price, if teachers figured out how to use it, it looks like it's pretty simple. So is it, is it pretty simple yeah. in practice? Oh, that's, I mean, it is, they, our review calls out how it's, it does feel they nailed the feel of a social media feed and it, it, it just feels like you're kind of curating a, a Twitter feed. You just click boxes, add content, super easy. We didn't run into any bugs during the process. It was really, I mean, it is, it is totally intuitive and they have an, a, a tons of examples that you can browse to get inspiration. So. All right. Well, it does seem pretty great. If you can pony up a little money, um, you know, get a, get a betting pool together with some other teachers and, and bet on something, <laughs> make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, invest in crypto, like, yes, you know, that's Bitcoin. going up and down every day. That seems yep. safe. <laughs> yeah. First go to Satori. That's where you're going to spend yep. your money. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Tanner. And if you want to see this review or any other reviews, please visit Common Sense Education. You can look at our reviews, curated lists, other videos, articles, and lots more. Thank and you, everyone. Yes. Wait, one more thing. Yes. Subscribe yes. to the channel. These are coming out every week. And we've now chosen a day, which is Tuesdays. And Tuesdays. I'm scheduling them for, for midnight. So what you should do is set an alarm every Tuesday at midnight. Yes. Wake up. Yes. Roll over, pick up your phone, go to our YouTube channel and watch this video and then go back to bed. Uh, make sure to like it, subscribe it. Of course, it's, that is mandatory that you do Mandatory. That. <laughs> That's right. Taco Tuesday tool time videos, midnight. Yeah. That's it. Great. Thank you.